coronavirus. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. So this is the virus segment. It's like a kind of like a global earth news slash the virus segment because, um, uh, you know, like uh, New York City, they, they just allow people over 30 and whoever can get the vaccine. So but at the same time, the numbers are still going up. So it might not even make a difference because how horrible we've been dealing with the COVID. But I want to talk about some positive news about a place that we the United States have put an embargo on for fucking decades. And uh, in this place, uh, pretty much had to scrabble for their own resources with whatever leadership they had at the time. And somehow um, in 2021, um, Cuba now um, has the highest rate of recovered COVID-19 patients in the Americas. Um, and Cuba is also developing up to five vaccines um, because I guess they don't trust, that's what happens when you don't trust nothing. So they're just gonna try every day to make, sh- make sure something works. So, um, so pretty much in Cuba, um, at the highest rate and they're also doing um pretty much uh, a massive vaccine campaign like in havana they're uh, dis- distributing vaccines all over in havana um and they have up to five vaccines they're working on and two that being tested right now um so that's pretty remarkable that you know they're they they're developing five of them um because they know that the same it's the same kind of like um that's science you know we have to try out everything you can't just say oh this is one thing we're gonna work on it that would be really suspicious which is what russia is doing but um but cuba is making like five vaccines and they actually sent out scientists i don't know if people remember that in the early days of the pandemic they sent out the handful of doctors they had out around the around the world to help with the different covert spikes that were happening in different countries so um so this is crazy what's happening here that this this little country where they can't even get new cars for the past, like, you know, 40 years, but they're able to, like, take care of their people, um, do so much crazy shit. And I want to also, so this is like the state propaganda. Literally, it says the official voice of the Communist Party of the Cuba Central Committee. So this is like hardcore communist website. So I'm going to flip over to the news for people who are more comfortable with, uh, which is NBC News. Um, they covered it, so it's not commie. NBC is far from a communist conspiracy, but they also talk about the this spectacular kind of vaccine um, rollout that they're doing in Cuba. So um, I'm going to play this clip real quick. Oh, it's not a clip. This is article. Yeah, actually, I just want to. Yeah, actually, I just want to see where they're getting the statistics from. Obviously, that's like the main question. Yeah, but uh, but us as Americans, you know, we in the most hypocrisy filled place in the universe. So. It just feels funny that we're Americans are suspicious of other places where like we can't even trust, you know, the stop signs to be proper. So um so this is perspective when it comes yeah, to it's hard <laughs> to argue with that. It is hard <laughs> to argue with that. But still, even my own even though I find myself skeptical yeah. at pretty much everything that I see and read. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I see that there are hermit kingdoms, the right way to look at things, you know. Yeah, when I see that there's a hermit kingdom claiming that they've achieved some crazy thing. No, but Cuba has been known for doing remarkable medical stuff. I mean, you could pretty much, if you know how to speak Spanish, you can go there and get a free doctor's degree. It's like guaranteed um, if you can get there. But the embargo doesn't allow people to get there. So, um, so they've been known to have like a really small kind of um medical like uh, cutting edge medical stuff out of necessity i guess you know because they have the shitty cars they're running the food but at least they can you know keep people healthy as bare minimum as possible so um if you were guaranteed health would you forego being able to drive an automobile if you were guaranteed i mean they drive automobiles but they automobiles doesn't have a bottom to it so you know all right, yeah. so you know we do what Fred Flintstone did. <laughs> Fred Flintstone. It was good enough for him, right? Fred Flintstone, some old Chevy from 1956, you know. <laughs> Yabba dabba do and all that shit. But um, yeah. So and this is like kind of stuff that happened um, a little after Castro passed away. The acceleration is kind of medical health stuff that's going on in in Cuba. Um, so um, if and and it's been known because actually been going out to the country. Uh, Bolivia has been Bolivia actually had a cool like a, t- a cool attempt at happening in Bolivia and happenstance. And that was one of the um, places that got the vaccine. So um, this shows you the kind of power dynamics that happen in the world. Like, meanwhile, we're being greedy and don't really want to share the patents. So we're, we're limiting other people from sharing their own patents. So it's like a weird time. But um, but we'll see what happens. But, but that's the idea of like, 
but this this is this is a bigger argument about having the the vaccine be um open to people to see it. So if you don't trust it, here you look at it. That's what they did for polio. That's what they did for other vaccines in the past. They made it open source to allow people to make it, um, the right people to make it and understand it better. So um, and at the moment, we're having this huge, we're having this kind of copyright patent battle with the vaccine for something that uh, hopefully um, brings things back to normal, but you know, they're treating it like a commodity. So um, that just shows you the difference between like ideologies that we're competing against. You can we can be suspicious. We can like, you know, talk about Cuba being communist and Fidel with cigars um, in the mountains, whatever, and, uh, and no heat and no hot water. Um, at the same time, in the United States, there's places in the country right now, we're supposed to be the you know, most uh, wealthy country in the world and that we have places just like in Cuba and the United States. So um, we can go, we can be suspicious as we want about communist states. Um, Cuba is far from a North Korea, um, but Cuba uh, definitely um, is not, you know, like, Oh, Britain. But at the same time, um, they help their people in different ways. Um, um, and also have weird ass rules that we can go into another day. But but uh, Cuba, but that's just to go to you know, the vaccine update in the global sense of like showing how other people are supporting each other for the vaccine and uh, social distancing and um, and the COVID um, uh, relief that's happening all over the world um, is really important because if we don't do that, then we're never going to end this pandemic. So um, it's going to keep well, going. Well, here in New York, uh, it was announced that uh, adults uh, uh, age 30 plus are now eligible to get the vaccine. I guess I don't know where you would go. I don't know if you're able to choose them like a car brand or something like that. Like, hey, I want this one or hey, I want that one. Sure. Um, they don't even, uh, I, I know some places don't even have it. Some people are saying Cuomo kind of did that to like, you know, distract from all the bullshit that's happened with them. Like let people get vaccines and not even there yet. So um <clears throat> So I, I wanna know, like, are you gonna be rushing out there to hurry up and get pinched or or what? I already made my appointment it's on Saturday. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Here in Black Power Magic Hour, we're in the know. So we're able to get stuff, you know, you know. So I already made my appointment already on Saturday. I'm getting the murderer murderer vaccine. So the Moderna vaccine, not the murderer vaccine. It sounds oh, like murder. Okay. So, uh, um, well, I, I'm going to sit in my house. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just going to sit here and wait. And I'm going to see how you look the next four or five shows. And if Black Power Magic Hour still exists, I'll go get it then. Yeah. And then I'll be in the future, like Gathica, and you have to put yourself in the furnace, like the end of that movie. So, because you're not vaccinated. So, um, that's politics as usual. Um, I'm a, that's the virus. But it feels like politics as usual because it, because this is a scary precedent right now. Uh, are they really this is because at because we have leadership that you know very authoritarian so like they can easily use this vaccine to to make people lives to live in hell for no reason so we have to keep an eye on that as well so the whole you also have to keep an eye on messiah threatening to throw me in a furnace <laughs> <laughs> that's in the movie isn't a sci-fi movie about about classes being divided because of like genetics and like in vaccines and stuff it's like how about co-hosts being divided <laughs> how about that 